hello everybody this is rudra pradhan here welcome to engineering econometrics today we will continue with nonlinear regression modeling as we have discussed earlier nonlinear regression modeling have two parts that two with respect to dummy modeling so the first part is the dummy modeling with respect to independent variable and the second one is dummy modeling with respect to dependent variable. So, that means in the first case dependent variable will be numeric in nature while at least one independent variable should be qualitative in nature and in the, in the other side the dependent variable will be qualitative in nature and no restriction to independent variables. In fact, we have discussed both the aspects and we have we have already highlighted a case where dependent variable is numeric in nature and that to one or more variables that these are all independent variables which are qualitative in nature. And in the second group where we are using dummy dependent variable modeling, so we have three different forms of model. What we have discussed earlier, the first part is the linear probability model, the second part is the logit model and the third part is the probit models. So, let us see what are these you know structures, then we will move into this you know discussion about the linear probability model, logit model and probit model. So, uh, what we have discussed earlier it is with respect to linear probability model. Uh, all these three forms of models are con connected with the probability and uh, so far as the probability is concerned. So, we have a two extremes 0 and 1 and if not then the the information relating to dependent variable will be in between 0 1. So, that means, it will be mostly in ratio type and that to uh, that to the information will be positive in nature that is the kind of you know, requirement while analyzing the linear probability model, logit model and probit model. So, so obviously, we have two different cluster in the first cluster it is the probability model which is a linear in nature and in the second group logit and probit it is a probability model which is nonlinear in nature. So, in the first case uh, this the modeling will be simple like you know y equal to alpha plus beta x like this like, like this. So, here this one is the dependent variable and a, a x is the independent variable. So, uh, in the case of linear probability model, so the dependent variable information will be either 0 or 1 that is the structure of linear probability model and then x you know may be 1 x or you know more x which is not necessarily qualitative, it may be qualitative, it may be a numeric in nature, but dependent variable must be qualitative and it, it will be in between 0 to 1. So, how will it transfer into 0 to 1 that is the kind of you know uh, example which you like to cite and that to we will find out a problems where this model can be fitted. So, that means all kinds of you know engineering problems this model cannot be applied. The use of this model is a very a kind of you know a restricted area or restricted environment where the dependent variable must be must be qualitative in nature and the information for the qualitative variable will be only between 0 and 1. So, that means kind of you know uh, uh, yes no male female these are the kind of you know situation we have to apply, but uh, 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 in this kind of you know models. So, we like to use the concept you know probability. So, that means instead of saying you know yes no male female so, here the particular informations will be derived through a kind of you know probability. So, uh, uh, so in order to dis 
you know understand the particular you know models. So, let us start with a particular example and then we can discuss this model. The, uh, the model will be like this. So, let us assume that you know uh, this is a kind of you know uh, spreadsheet where we have we have the data here and uh, we have taken actually 20 observations and this is what the 20 observations and uh, we like to discuss you know linear probability model and uh, 20 uh, observation means it is a information about 20 individuals and they are in a job and we like to collect actually two information corresponding to dependent variable and independent variable and that to the use of you know linear probability models or binary choice model. So, the first variable which we have here is the home ownership and the second variable is with respect to salary. So, that means, the sample structure will be like this we have to you know touch upon a particular individual and ask whether he is in job or not and then whether he is staying in rented house or on a house that is what the ownership is all about. So, that means, here the hypothesis is that or simple understanding is that that you know if a guy is having high salary he may have the opportunity to stay in the you know on a house. If the salary is not sufficient he may be staying in rented house. So, that is the kind of you know game. So, that means, technically so uh, uh, having house or not having house is the kind of you know dependent variable. It is kind of you know yes no type of situation, but ultimately it is the kind of you know uh, transfer into a probability format only. So, the moment you will say yes no, so then obviously in place of yes you can put 1 and in place of you know no you can put simply 0. So, so that means, simply we will visit the customers or the particular individual ask whether he is in job or not and if he, if he or she will be in job. So, then the first question will be what should be your salary structure and then second one is the whether you are staying in rented house or you know on house. So, as a result we have a clear cut information here. So, that means, uh, in the first individual the in the case of in ownership it is a 0. So, that means, he, he is possibly staying in rented house not is on house and his salary structure will be 8 lakhs per annum. So, the figures uh, of salaries are in lakhs and then uh, lakhs per annum and uh, uh, and uh, we like to know whether salary uh, you know is very useful component to decide uh, to have the uh, you know on house or to stay in the rented house. So, likewise we have actually 20 individuals. So, every time we are asking whether they are staying in the own house or rented house and what is the salary structure. And here the salary structure itself is a independent variable and uh, uh, ha uh, having a house or not having house that means, staying in own house or staying in rented house will be the dependent variable and that to the transformation will be 0 to 1. So, after doing the transformation that means, technically the actual information will be yes no and uh, so, where yes then it will be 1 here where there is no then you will put 0. Then after doing this then we have to we have to actually uh, uh, transfer the data in a structure form and then we will go for the estimation. So, the estimation process is you know usually you know same like the you know like the case of you know bivariate uh, you know regression or simple you know multi multiple regression. So, here we, we can still use actually data analysis package and uh, click this uh, this ones and then we choose the regression and put ok after putting ok so then you will see here so uh, our target is here to give an indication about the dependent variable so this is what the dependent variable indication so we we will highlight all the samples and then we can give the input range starting with you know 8 lakhs to oh, 16 lakhs and then we fill up the you know structure and after that you just put actually ok. So, by default we will have a results here and this is what the results right. So, as usual this is a bit simple regression estimation only thing we need to actually 
uh, structure the data and then go for the estimation and uh, structure of the data itself has a lots of you know interpretation and then we will predict uh, the kind of you know situation whether uh, salary is a factor uh, you know to decide whether to whether a guy will stay in a, a rented house or in a kind of you know on house right. So, that means technically it is the it is the game with, you with respect to yes no and then that will be transferred into 0 1 and then finally, we like to regress. Then as usual we like to check whether the coefficient of you know salary is significant to 1 while deciding uh, to stay in a on house or the rented house. So, as a result we have the results here and uh, of course, you know the results are not so good here, but uh, uh, by the way the coefficients are you know uh, very low and uh, the in the kind of you know uh, r square is also very low, uh, but uh, uh, by the way it, it gives a kind of you know positive uh, indication that means, uh, you know the impact is positive. So, that means, technically the simple interpretation will be like this. So, uh, you know having a having a you know a more salary then the guy can stay in the rented house and uh, having low salary the guy may be staying in a uh, you know uh, means if the salary structure will be high then he will be staying in one house and uh, uh, when the salary structure will be low then he will be staying in the uh, rented house. So, uh, so obviously, so the theory says that you know there is a positive relationship between the two. So, that means a, a salary and the a, a, a housing structures will be a positive link uh, having high salary to st the staying will be in the on house and low salary the stay will be on rented house and that is what we are getting here. And in fact, uh, the particular coefficient is not statistically significant, even f is not statistically significant, and then the r square is also not actually too high. Uh, the reason is that we have only low samples, uh, in uh, technical, it is only 19 samples, uh, and uh, 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 not actually, it is a 20 samples, 19 is the you know uh, degree of freedom, and uh, here is the total observation that is the 20. And uh, if you can increase the sample size, then obviously there is a high chance that you know uh, the particular you know variable will be statistically significant. So ultimately, our our aim is not to just you know uh, you know check whether the particular variable is statistically significant or not. Of course, that is the one of the requirement of this modeling. But ultimately, here our idea is just to know how it works the linear probability model so far as the linear probability model is concerned. So, where the dependent variable is the depend I means in, in a uh, dummy type and the information behind the dependent variable will be in between 0 to 1 0 and 1 not 0 to 1 and then uh, independent variable which will be numeric in nature and as a result uh, we will have the estimation like this. and uh, the kind of you know uh, you know structure will be starting like this. So, the usually the linear probability models will be in a straight line kind of you know structure. So, it will be a, a, in a kind of you know increasing a slope where the indication is that you know uh, you know uh, salary structures and the uh, you know uh, uh, person saving house on house is actually positively linked. So, this this graph itself is giving such kind of an you know, indication because the slope is actually coming positive. So, that means, uh, uh, you know linear probability models that is uh, LPM is a kind of you know structure where you can easily predict certain things where you know uh, the information will be qualitative in nature. Uh, in fact, uh, this particular model can be extended to logit models and probit model. So, that means the same problem. So, that means uh, here the uh, uh, issue is that you know we like to uh, decide or we like to know whether salary is a factor or uh, you know to decide whether a customers or a kind of you know uh, uh, you know kind of you know persons who can stay in one house and rented house. The same problems can be tested through linear probability model, logit model and the probit models. 
So, now what is happening in the case of in a linear probability model this particular sample is enough to go ahead with the estimation even if it is not statistically significant, but model is working. So, that means, uh, you know the particular information is correctly specified to test this particular you know inference. Uh, uh, so, for as a significance level is concerned, you can increase the sample size and get the results, but it is coming you know as per the expectation and that to we expect positive relationship and the coefficient is also coming you know uh, uh, you know positive in nature. So, as a result, so, uh, so the linear probability model is a very effective tool to decide a to decide whether a person will be staying in a rented house or own house that too with respect to you know salary structure. Let us see the same problems can be tested through logit models. Here the logit model will be uh, you know the structure will be like this a log p upon 1 minus p equal to alpha plus beta x. So, that is the kind of you know things we like to check what is happening here the same structure that means, and that means if you go through linear probability models here. So, this is actually a the pi that is the dependent variables lying between 0 either 0 or 1 and the functional form will be alpha plus beta x that is the right hand side of the a model and in fact this is also same here the right hand side of the game is more or less same as compared to linear probability model and uh, uh, if you see the first one and the this ones then you will find the left hand side person is actually different. So, here the transformation uh, uh, you know transformation is the log p upon 1 minus p that is the uh, items which is actually called as you know odd ratio. So, that means, p by 1 minus p is the odd ratio, where p is the probability of success and 1 minus p is the probability of failure. Uh, so, ultimately what we need to have is to find out p value first. So, like the previous case we have actually uh, observed the p value, uh, which is actually type of you know yes no and that to the transformation will be 0 1 only. Since, probability value two extremes are 0 and 1 and linear probability framework is like that only. So, we can easily run the model and get to know the kind of inference. Now, the same information we like to handle through this logit model. In that case, your dependent variable structure will be somehow you know different. So, here we, we simply it means we use the same p but instead of you know direct p we will use log p by 1 minus p that means it's nothing but log upon odd ratio which is actually the ratio between probability of success to probability of failure so that means we will use a component called as you know odd ratio uh, which is actually which is actually the ratio between probability of success by probability of failure that means technically p by 1 minus p. So, so what is actually requirement uh, you know is that we need to go for you know data transformations or data restructuring. So, that means, the first item requirement is p then we will go for 1 minus p. So, just you know 1 minus the given p we will get the data because uh, total probability exactly equal to 1. So, whatever p will be fine that will, if that is the indication of the success by default 1 minus p will be the indication about the uh, failure. So, uh, uh, so that means technically how we have to deal with this problem. So, ultimately if we go to this you know data set technically uh, let us go to this data set where we have a linear probability model. In this case what is happening? So, we have actually this is the probability value. So, that means technically the uh, actual information will be yes no and we transfer into 1 0 where 1 represents yes and 0 represents no. So, now by default this will be this will be the indication of you know uh, probability right. So, either probability will be 0 or probability will equal to 1. So, now uh, when you use actually a linear probability model then this much of information is sufficient. Uh, uh, however, if you use a logit model then only p is not enough 
So, at the same time you have to calculate actually 1 minus p and then the kind of you know order ratio. So, obviously, the order ratio is p by 1 minus p. So, uh, so as a result, so this, this sample is not sufficient to help to calculate the uh, you know order ratio, because uh, it is the ratio between p by 1 minus p. So, when p equal to 1 by default 1 minus p equal to 0. So, if that is the case, then the whole ratio will be equal to infinite. So, now log of infinite is undefined. So, as a result, so that means technically the log of p by 1 minus p is the odd ratio. So, where, where uh, you know uh, the issue is that you know uh, you first calculate p and then you calculate 1 minus p and then finally, p by 1 minus 1 minus p. So, which is the kind of you know, requirement. So, now what is happening if p equal to 1 that is one extreme then 1 minus p equal to 0 and when p, a, p stands to 0 then 1 minus p stands to 1. So, now when p equal to 1 then 1 minus p equal to 0. So, now in this case in this case so p by 1 minus p is equal to o 1 by a 0. Okay, in this case, uh, if you put actually zero here, then uh, divide by uh, you know one minus zero means it's one. So that means the order ratio is order ratio here is zero, and order ratio here is the infinite. So now ultimately the transformation will be instead of you know zero one, the transformation will be zero and infinite. So that means if you directly use this data, so as a result. So, you are not in a position to estimate the model, because the information content while you know having a you know 1 p equal to 1 that will be infinite. So, as a result we need actually different kind of you know structuring or you know transformation, so that you know we can use this information to estimate the model and to get the kind of you know inference as per our you know. Uh, you know a problem requirement or the kind of you know engineering econometrics requirement. So, ultimately what we like to do? Uh, we like to see what is the structural change you have to apply here, so that you know without you know uh, changing the overall structure of the model, we can still run the model and then uh, test this particular you know hypothesis. So, as a result, so we need actually transformation rule mechanism for that. So, we can go to the another problem the similar kind of you know information, but the processing a processing structure will be different. So, as a result we come to this you know second data set. So, this is a data set here and in this data set. So, we have actually same informations. So, this is in fact we have actually 12 informations uh, sample size is 12 and uh, then what is happening this is the income level and uh, and this is capital n this is small n so that means technically instead of you know targeting a individual we will target a group of individuals let's say a particular in organization and then we identify 12 such organization and then we target you know couple of you know people in that particular organization then ask what is the salary structure and whether they, they are staying in own house or you know rented house means simply we ask that you know whether they have their own house or uh, they have not their you know own house. So, uh, you know obviously when you when you actually uh, you know touch upon you know 40 people so let us say the first sample is 40 here then obviously few few will be few will be actually having a you know uh, uh, own house and few may not have their own house. So, now the uh, the p component will be the p component will be here n by n. So, that is the usual structure of you know probability calculation. So, when you ca calculate probability value n by n. So, there is a high chance that the uh, you know the particular transformation will be in between 0 1 it may not be 0 it may not be 1. So, now we need the data in between 0 to 1 to apply the logit model. So, as a result what will it do? We first you know uh, p 
pick up you know organization or the kind of you know area then you pick up couple of you know individuals there and uh, 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 you know with the structure is that you know out of the, uh, you know all these you know individuals few must have their you know uh, own house so uh, so that you know we can actually get p value uh, you know at, as per your you know requirement otherwise suppose you know uh, you know all people having their you know own house or you know all people have not their you know own house then this kind of you know sampling may not be useful here to you know estimate the particular you know logit model so that means sample uh, specific sample is a uh, high requirement here and then we have to link and you know estimate uh, 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 as per our you know requirement so that means technically uh, it is the group sampling which is the requirement to estimate the logit model so in uh, you know like in linear probability model you just uh, you know randomly pick up individuals and uh, uh, generate the data but here you have to pick you know uh, you know just you know identify the organizations or the area or the kind of you know, uh, locations then uh, you pick up a group out of which you know few a uh, few of them having their you know on house and few of them not having their you know on house that is that is by default so as a result so we we are in a position to calculate p here and the moment you will get p value which is actually in between 0 to 1 and by default we have 1 minus p which is again positive then uh, we will find a ratio which is also coming positive then after that we can go for you know estimation for instance let us see here so this is the uh, this is the data set here so what we can do here so we can calculate p here so this is what actually uh, we can have we can have here this is actually let us say p indications so now the p indication will be 8 by 8 by 40 okay and then you can just scroll it and you will have the structure is like this okay so then ultimately so this is actually p value and you see here the p value range is actually between you know uh, 0 to 1 so it is not exactly 0 it's not exactly 1 so then you will calculate 1 minus p so let's say it is a you know, q and then uh, which is actually the dif difference between 1 minus p so that's the, the first one is the 0 0.2 so you can uh, by default it will be 0 0.8 so uh, you will see here the difference so now if you add this two then you will get one if you add this two you will get one because total probability exactly equal to one so now this is the p information and this is the q information so what we need actually we need a you know transformation so what is the transformation that's actually a you know p by q that's the uh, odd ratio so the odd ratio let us say that it's o so which is nothing but actually p you know divided by uh, q so that will be having okay sorry this will be equal to so p divided by a q so you will get a ratio here so, okay so that will be 0 0.25 and then you just you know generate the series so we have a series like this okay so then what will you do that's that's called as you know p by 1 minus p and uh, uh, what will you do uh, we will go for log upon you know odd ratio so as a result you can go for another round of you know transformation which is nothing but you know log transformation uh, so put you know uh, log here and uh, okay uh, okay so this is the log transformation so now you can just give an indications you will find log transformation here so this is what the log transformation so now so this is what actually p uh, log of you know odd ratio so now this this information is used as you know dependent variable and your independent variable will be this ones. So, now what will you do? You again go to the data analysis and choose regression. So, now uh, what you can do? We, uh, uh, you know uh, reset. So, that is two dependent variable is here only. So, this one okay. and the independent variable will be in independent variable will be income 
and then run the models. So, this is what the estimations. Of course, uh, this gives you know better result compared to the previous one. Uh, here you know uh, if you compare with a linear probability model, so the model result is not so good uh, you know like this, it is very poor uh, 0 0.18 and the coefficients are you know not statistically significant. Now, uh, if the same problems if you actually run through logit model, then it has actually huge impact and that too the effects are you know very clear here. And in fact, uh, as usual these coefficients are also statistically significant here uh, and uh, not only significant it is a positive coefficient and r square is very high and, uh, and f is also very high and uh, both you know intercept and slope are statistically significant and the slope is positive. So, that means, so uh, salary structure and you know having a house they are actually positively linked that is what we have got the inference here. Now, if you compare the first problem and the second problem we, we find you know there is a drastic improvement. So, that means, this kind of you know problem is having actually you know better way of you know, you know analysis or you know uh, you know uh, some kind of you know um, good inference uh, you know uh, uh, to to come to the particular you know conclusions while you know uh, you know checking the issue of you know salary structure and the a kind of you know people's own house and uh, that means technically we have three different kind of you know structure and uh, the same problems can be checked through linear probability model logit model and probit model and then uh, you can compare and where it is actually having good result we can keep and the remaining one, uh, remaining one can be discarded. Then finally, uh, it will give you the kind of you know, indication that yes uh, you know uh, it is a kind of you know, nonlinear format and that too it is a situation where actually the dependent independent variable is influencing the dependent variables where the dependent variable is the uh, qualitative one and, and that too uh, it is in the form of you know, probability and again the information will be in between 0 to 1 not exactly 0 not exactly 1 like the case of you know linear probability model. So, like linear probability model, so logit model is a, a another kind of you know dummy models that is qualitative res, uh, regression response modeling where you know we can predict the independent variable to dependent variable which is actually a qualitative in nature. And uh, the third one is the probit model which is a similar kind of you know structure, but the uh, transformation mechanism will be different which we will discuss in the next class with this we will stop here. Thank you very much.